And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down here as the penalty flags come in right away. And we may have a face mask here right at the start. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now with Toss, this is McCaffrey. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 30-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. The former Florida Gator, Jordan Scarlett, the rookie with a carry. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Gun, gun, gun. Check To throw is Newton. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Even at the age of 30, Cam says his. Just a number. Still a real threat running the football. We all know about the touchdowns, but ran for 488 yards last season. That was fourth among all NFL quarterbacks. He can still tote the mail. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. He lost two there, and it's third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 40. This is McCaffrey on the give. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. Throwing is Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. 
Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What, does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10 at the 20. The second year man from USC, this is Ronald Jones. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Ronald Jones, an 80 yard touchdown as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, he's got some breathing room. But that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. It's just me and you. Following the interception, Winston. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brian Burns in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here 
Here's Winston. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. A bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Working out of the gun, Winston. He's going to look deep for Perriman. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 13 yard line. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Watch the, watch the run. Watch the run. This shot, baby. That's a big shot. That's first. Check him up. Check the call. Check the call. Try to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. First play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. He's got room to run past the 20 as he's all the way up to the 24-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On the ground, McCaffrey. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. for the tight end Olsen and it's intercepted picked off by the rookie linebacker from LSU Devin White and it's a pick six he brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD short throw pick six right there those linebackers they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide don't they how about the anticipation on the play reading reacting and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction so they throw the pick six they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air this is taken at the three and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? 
Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All yeah, right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing again, Newton. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On third down, Newton. That's caught. It's Jarius Wright. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. at the 44. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. I got you. This is Scarlett on the carry. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. I can't help it. Every time I see Eric Berry make a play, as we just saw him make a tackle there, I just want to stand up and applaud. Because he went to Tennessee like you? Well, that, that doesn't hurt one bit, but how about the comeback? I mean, he came back from, from beating cancer and getting back to Pro Bowl level. One of the best players in the game. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Throwing on second and eight, Newton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Newton. He's got the completion to Strong. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. 
And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off the play fake, Winston. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Rashad Perriman, his first touchdown of the new season as his guys are able to regain the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. Being chased out left. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. And I do believe this is going to wind up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And avoids the contact by sliding. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Twenty. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Eight. Eight. 
False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Ready. The false Let's start you. backs him up five, check first and 15. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. timeouts remember so this is going to have to be a delay so we've come to halftime in a five point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three the Bucks with a lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And all the way down to the 26. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 47 yards. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Winston, a handoff. This is Jones. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Play fake. Winston. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Mike Evans. His first touchdown here of the new campaign as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. At 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. McCaffrey on the toss right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Taking a shot for Samuel. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by M.J. Stewart. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll go again to Jones. Well, the former LSU Tiger, Dante Jackson, on the stop. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Ready? The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. It's Winston. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns, his second sack of the night. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway. But when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Levante David, the Bucks' leading tackler, six of the last seven years in there to make the stop. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. What's that? Great, great, great! Three down, three down. 20! Watch out, watch out, watch out. 
Now Newton on first down. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Shaq Thompson. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Jameis to throw it. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Dante Jackson picks it. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. They'll run with McCaffrey. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Gun, 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 gun. To throw on second and six. Newton. And an alley to run. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. That would a first down pickup of eight. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up second down. Now Newton. And a big loss here as he's taken down. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. But they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead. And they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Cam fakes the give and keeps it. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. Five yards on the pickup. And that's going to make it fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is you're back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. down carry by Jones and I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line a loss of two there second down and what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts they've got all three still defensively to me you have to start right now here's the time and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Mike Evans with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game, as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? 
And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now on second and 13, Newton is going to go for a big play downfield. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking Ready. passes Ready. off. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Newton out of pro. Airing it out for Olsen. And got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Newton. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. Throwing again on second and ten. Newton. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. He's got his man on the crossing route. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 25-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Jalen Strong, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. To throw again. Newton. This is caught. A gain there of 21 yards. It's a gain of 21 yards. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Cam Newton, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Extra point try, good by Godot. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 45-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Winston here to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, but it's going to be second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. To throw on second and ten. Winston, the left side completion to Jones. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard, making it third and nine. Jameis again. Aaron this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with it? I would think that they would. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. He's going to let it fly. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, but they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. The Panthers on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. There's, oh, he's going to take this out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a safety. So that a double whammy. Not only do you have to give away the football, but the two points mean this is now a two-score game. And two doesn't seem like much, does it? But it means everything in this situation because now they're going to have to look back and ultimately that might be the play that ends up deciding this game.
Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh. I put it on the line like I ain't selfish, nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet his best is soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions. Daily manifesting on my premonitions. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man Pull up in the top, it's missing, the opposition ain't All that lane switching, this is what the game is in It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable You were Joe like Chappelle show, this so perennial Do this for my millennials, I be murdering any flow I just had to let you know It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable You were Joe like Chappelle show, this so perennial, do this for my millennials, I be murdering any flow, I just had to let you know.